Welcome to the Way to Play Performance Series. This episode, we are featuring Colts linebacker, Darius Leonard. He's a young and up and coming superstar. But what is it that makes this player so special? Well, it's his sideline to sideline prowess. And if you look at every great linebacker, from Dick Buckus all the way down to Derrick Brooks, that's what those guys did well. And we're gonna walk you through and talk you through how to develop sideline to sideline skill like Darius Leonard. When we talk lateral movement, one of the things we have to consider is acceleration. Acceleration is not just something that happens on a 100 meter sprint or a 40 yard dash. It happens on the football field. On the football field, we're just including different angles, hence lateral movement. One of the things we like to implement in our acceleration drills is med balls. So in this progression, we'll take Brian here. I'm gonna have him grab a med ball and you can do this one against the wall, actually. This is very stationary. Brian's not going anywhere. The reason we're using a med ball in this drill and not going anywhere is we're just giving context to the movement. Context in the fact that in this case, he's gonna throw the ball right. He's pushing the ground away left. So that left leg is pushing the ground away. Simultaneously, he's getting rotation in his upper body. So go ahead, let that rip, Brian. Good. So. That movement came from the ground as well as his torso. So just to kind of add to the progression of that, I want Brian to kind of push yourself out far and catch yourself with your right leg. We go through the same thing. Good, so that's just a little progression as we work our way to actually moving and accelerating. So here's the context, is that our upper body, and we're putting force to the ground, our upper body is rotating simultaneously. Now I want us to run. So he's gonna go ahead and chase the ball. Good. Bring it on back. One of the things we have to consider here is where his foot lands. So before we even progress to that, a lot of times we're told to gain ground on this movement or when we're going somewhere we need to gain ground. So go ahead, he gains ground. What we need to realize here is that right foot is actually decelerating here. That is the break, that is a stop. If he's trying to get over that, look at all he has to overcome. Do that one more time slowly, big step, and pull yourself over. Puts a lot of stress on the hamstrings. It's very similar to the heel strike we see in sprinting. So what we need to understand is, is that we're just trying to get on a new angle. So laterally, that foot may land underneath him and may land, land behind him slightly, but it's not gonna gain ground because gaining ground will actually slow him down. So when we're teaching this, don't tell your athletes to gain ground. We're just trying to get our hips and our center of mass on the new angle. So finally, just to bring it back full circle and make it a little more football, I just want you to take two shuffles. Like consider yourself, you're reading the linemen, you're reading the backs, and then get lateral on that movement. Shuffle, shuffle, go. Good, so there you have it. So get good at the first two, get competent. We're not moving on that first throw, remember? We're just rotating, we're putting force to the ground, rotating the upper body at the same time. Then we're taking a little step when we do it, and then we're ripping and running it, or we're throwing it and running, and we have to understand that that med ball is gonna kind of give us some momentum along the way, but again, it's coming, movement's coming from the ground, movement's coming from the upper body, and then that last one, bring it, full, bring it home. After you've gotten competent in the first three, we're shuffling, we're making a read, and we're going. One thing that all really good lateral movers do well is that they get out of their stance effectively with little wasted movement and as fast as possible. Now, whether that be going sideline to sideline, forward or backward, that's something that you need to develop as an athlete. So what we're gonna do is give you a couple movements that build that explosiveness out of the stance. So we're gonna come over here, check out a very general movement first. We're gonna start with a drop jump to lateral shuffle. Now this movement is really important because if you notice these clips of Darius Leonard, when he's getting out of his stance, he's reading before he's moving. And what he does really well is he hops into his read. Now that has a lot of benefits for uh, the scheme, but it also primes the body and loads the muscles like a spring so that when he does make that read, deciding to cut left or right, he's able to move explosively. Now the movement that we're gonna do here is very similar to how it's gonna look on the field. We're gonna have Brian stand very tall. He's gonna snap himself down and then move as quickly as, as possible to the left and to the right. Go ahead and do one to the right here. Good. Now, when you're doing this movement, a couple things you wanna uh, focus on is the second you land, you're redirecting. So you wanna spend as little time as possible on that landing, but you don't want a sloppy landing. You wanna make sure you pull yourself down into your stance that you're gonna have on the field. And if you wanna add some uh, decision-making to the process, you can have a coach or a partner tell you what direction to go as you land. That adds that randomness where you have to think real quick and then react to the movement. So I'll start tall here. We'll snap down and go to the side. This makes it a lot more challenging, so make sure 
that you master the basic version before you move into this. And because this is an explosive movement, you don't wanna do it for a lot of reps where you're gonna get tired and sloppy. Five reps each side is enough to get uh, the, the explosiveness that we really wanna build. Now, Brian's gonna show us a little bit how this can transfer into the field because obviously that looked very basic, very general. It's good to start there, but then you're gonna have to take it onto the football field. So Brian, show us how we can take this a little more specific to a linebacker. Okay, like you said, a lot of times you have to be in that good stance to move. And a lot of drills that are starting off with, young kids start off with, is you start from a static position and then start moving. You'll see Darius Leonard and a lot of good linebackers, they do, they do give that little bounce. And what that does is it buys them time. Because a lot of young linebackers, you're anxious. When the ball is snapped, you end up burying yourself in the line of scrimmage. But that bounce gives you time to see what's happening in front of you and then be guided to the ball instead of just burying yourself and then having to react. So one little drill that we can do is we have three different angles that we're gonna work through. This first cone is we're gonna give that that bounce we're going to simulate that bounce this next cone we're going to drift to and then we're going to break at each angle and one of the key points with the bounce is and you'll see you'll see all good linebackers do that they stay in that ready position as they bounce they don't raise up so they once you raise up you have to drop back down to be explosive again so staying in that position you're going to be more effective through that movement so i'll just take you simply through these first three so here it's gonna be two or three bounces and then we're gonna drift or shuffle to this next cone. Once we get to somewhere around this cone, we're gonna burst downhill, simulating a run play and getting ready to play. This, this, this next angle is gonna be more lateral. We're going to the sideline. He makes all his plays sideline to side, a lot of his plays sideline to sideline. So we're, again, we're gonna simulate that. A couple bounces, a drift, and then a burst towards the sideline. Then this last one, we have to drop into coverage as well. We're gonna bounce, shuffle, and as we drift into coverage, it's good to turn your head both ways because we want to find a receiver and find the quarterback, receiver, and the quarterback, and then settle back into position. Well, there you have it. Two easy, simple drills that you can do to become a better mover sideline to sideline. We took a different approach this week. We started with the fun stuff. All of the things that as young athletes, you enjoy doing. But we gotta remember something. With Darius Leonard, the thing that makes him so unique as a player is how he starts the game. Or each and every play, how he aligns himself. Notice right here with Darius. You'll see what some would call nearly perfect posture. From the waist up, he is as neutral as you can be. He's not rounded at the back. His shoulders aren't pulled forward. He's nice and neutral. And this position gives you the best chance as an athlete to apply everything you just learned. So we're gonna teach you here how to stabilize or at least put yourself in that position and then begin to stabilize yourself in that particular posture. So Josh here, we're gonna show you how to quickly bend and push. The bend and push technique is gonna help you lock in the torso, very similar to Darius Leonard. So Josh here is gonna lock his arms and pin them to his thighs. But you have to make sure that the arms are locked. You don't want any lax in the elbows, nice and tight. At this point, he's now going to bend and push. Bend at the knees while simultaneously pushing the rear end back. And what you'll notice here, he gets to the top of the knees and he's able to cup the top. This is where we want you to be. Because if Josh were to turn himself around, here, and we get a nice lateral view, let's lock it in. We're gonna bend and push, perfect. Now let's take a look here at Darius Leonard on film. You got a good shot? Good, you see where he's at. Now let's take a look here at Josh. Very similar position. This right here is gonna give you the best chance to express your best movement capabilities as athletes. Now, here's where it gets challenging. You got a coach or a teammate 
You take a med ball or a rubber band. The rubber band you just tie around your feet and lock it in with your hands. But we're gonna use the med ball today. You take the med ball and you have your coach, your friend, your brother, your sister, whomever, just give you a little bit of pressure to try to break the posture. If you get better at this position and more capable and confident and you're not breaking the posture as people keep increasing the pressure, the better chance you will have to become the best player you can be and apply all the things you just learned. Without a doubt, Darius Leonard is a special player, but you can become the best player you're capable of becoming. If you just spend the time working on these drills and skills, you will be become the best version of yourself.